I hadn't met Stan. This was about six or seven years ago, but I kept seeing Stan's picture in the paper and things that Stan said or things that Stan did. And I thought, I got to meet this guy, Stan. And finally, I met him one day and I discovered something that we have in common. We're about the same height. <laughs> <laughs> We're about the same height. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Jack and Terry Show. Our special guest today is Kay Cooper. She is president of the Legacy Foundation and one of the one of the most dynamic community leaders we have here. And she's working on a project, has been for a while. She's working on it still. She'll go into more detail about that here in just a couple of minutes. And, of course, we have community leader Stan Mullins. He's with, with Modern Woodman. And he's a guy that's involved in a lot of things around here, too. So it's no surprise to see both these leaders involved in this. So welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. And of course, I'm with my co-host, Jack Conicky, the granddaddy of all small businesses in Redcliffe. Jack, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Terry. Good to see you, Kay and Sam. Hey, Jack. Thank you. Now, Jack, Kay is president of the Legacy Foundation. One of the things they recently did and they've done so many things. But one of the things they've recently done is conducted a workshop for small business owners, people that wanted to get into small business or people that are in small business that just want to improve their skills. That right. was last month. It was an amazing, amazing learning opportunity. A lot of people showed up and benefited. They're doing it every quarter now. So we brought Kay and Stan on to talk a little bit more about this. So let's start with Kay. Kay, that first one that you did, was a phenomenal success. What are you looking at for this next one in terms of changes or anything that you might be expecting different? Well, well, first I want to make one correction. I'm president emeritus now. Uh, Katina Haynes is our new, uh, newly elected president okay. of the Legacy Foundation. Um, this, um, the first one was phenomenal. Uh, we've partnered with the Ratcliffe Small Business Alliance to bring this to the community, and um, it was we we got some really great feedback. Over eighty two percent of the attendees uh, filled out the feedback survey. Overwhelming success. Um, some of the things that they requested was a little bit more time in the workshop. So we had hour long workshops. So now we're going to have an hour and 15 minutes um, because we're listening to uh, we're listening to our partners, our business partners and uh, the owners and wanted to provide them with the resources that they need. Um, we're going to have uh, we're going to bring back some people by popular demand. The business owners were super excited about the interactiveness of the workshop. So they mm -hmm. weren't getting talked at. We're going to continue that because that was successful. Instead of getting talked at, they actually had activities and worksheets that they filled out to get move their businesses forward with mm -hmm. some process or another, whether it was they were working with uh, Olivia Richardson with nonprofit or they're working with with Patricia Krausman, with get just starting their business the correct way with the Kentucky One Stop System, mm. um, they had to do that activity right there in the session, and mm. it motivated them to leave and to continue to do those things. And that's what we want. That's what it's all about. We want to provide businesses with the business education. Mm -hmm. the business resources and the coaching that they need to succeed because when they succeed in our community the economy for Hardin County is blessed by that we mm -hmm. we see the value increase in our community when those businesses are successful and stay in business for years and years mm -hmm. like you guys have successfully done yeah you're, you're absolutely right and I remember a few years ago it was, it was actually a number of years ago initial discussions with Tanya Seabrook who was, as you mentioned, was one of the people that got this, maybe the person that got this started. And one of the things we talked about in the early meetings was that the topics in this training need to be really relevant, not something superficial, but things like how to get insurance, how to get your business incorporated, how to market your business, how to process transactions in your business and I noticed and when you did this this last time it was all relevant topics it's very impressive well let's run out here to Stan Stan 
Stan Mullins, of course, is one of the one of the teachers in the program, I believe, this time. And this he's, time. Been a, he's been a he's been a mentor and a teacher in a lot of different areas within the community. So it's not it's no surprise that he's doing that too. He's a he's a subject matter expert in insurance, but he also has a lot of other skills and abilities. Stan, why don't you talk to us about when this is going to be and also maybe even address how you felt when you attended the last one as an observer? Well, first off, this is going to be July, July 15th at, uh, at 660 Knox Boulevard at the Heritage Church. They're, they're kind enough to allow a space to do this again. And, uh, and uh, uh, I'm really thankful to them. I came, hey, I'll be frank with you. I came in to help RSBA as a, just a little bit of a worker. I was going to stay there 15 or 20 minutes. But this was so engaging. I was not a speaker. I was not a participant as far as having a class. But I was they they recruited me as a monitor just to come in and and watch the class as a, I saw three there were three at that time, and I was just I was flabbergasted and I actually just I just begged to come in with Kay mm -hmm. this next time and had to really you know uh, beg big just to, I want to be part of this and and I was just there again I was going to be there fifteen or twenty minutes maybe get a cup of coffee I stayed there the entire day and couldn't have not have had a better time. And it was really, really good information, including what Kay already said with the branding, with the you know state regulations and things. It's just information. And it, what, what I like about it, just in brief, is it's interactive, as she said. Mm -hmm. it's, it's coaching. It's not, this is what you got to do. It's not just information. It's interactive where, where it's more coaching. And that's where the power is. And the people were all engaged as far as I could see. I was, I was very excited about it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, when we've talked about this, all of us have talked about this before in these micro small businesses. And that's really what we're talking about here. We're not talking about setting up factories and other potentially small businesses with five 5,000 people in it or anything. What we're talking about usually is people with two or three people in a business, maybe even one. And in these micro small businesses, what we found over the years is that often they're started without a full plan. They may start and then they figure, realize, wait a second, I need to be collecting sales tax or wait a minute, I need some workers' compensation insurance or I have a partner and I need a buyout plan. Things like that. They don't think about that. The beauty of what you guys are, are doing here is that you bring all this under one roof. All they have to do, as Matt Smith always says, all you have to do is show up. You can't get any of this without showing up. So you show up, you participate, you get a chance to listen to people like you, Kay, and, and Stan, and so many of the others. Well, it's amazing. You guys are doing a great job, and I want to thank you for all your, your hard work. It takes a lot of effort to be a community leader. It's not just a title that's given to people because they want a title. There's a lot of work that goes be, be, goes along with that, and you guys are doing doing all the work. I can tell you, every time I turn around, Stan's out there sponsoring something or participating in something. That's really what community leadership is about. And you, he has a community business an insurance brokerage. It's a community community business right here in the in the city, and he doesn't take that lightly. I'm very proud of that, Stan. I'm very proud of, to even know you and to know Kay, because you guys are tremendous assets here in the community. Well, Kay, we'll run back out to you, leave you with the last word. What would you like folks to know going out that they need to know in order to participate in this or anything else that you happen to be involved with. Okay, well, and I, and I want to throw it out there. You kind of threw it out there a little bit. The Legacy Foundation was the dream child of the late uh, Council Ratcliffe Councilwoman Ms. Tanya Sebra, and, and even the Mind in My mm -hmm. Own Small Business Entrepreneurship Academy, which you guys, when you were president, Terry, we thank you for seeing our vision and um, investing in that program. Even was you were you guys were our first investor that you know, and now the Ratcliffe Small Business Alliance has continued to partner with us 
So we yep. appreciate your leadership and you guys' leadership in the community and supporting those visions because without that support, we would couldn't do for the community the things that we do. Um, one of the things I want people to know is it's our passion. We have a passion to see the, the individuals in our community succeed. Um, and we have greatness in Hardin County. So our educators, the facilitators of our courses, all are Hardin County people. So we are all about sowing and rotating funds in the Hardin County back into Hardin County. So we, and, and, and not just funds, but education, knowledge, skills, resources. We have what we need to succeed as a community here. And, and when you're a small business owner, you're doing it all on your own and you may not have a partner, you may not be able to afford to have, um, to hire people, then let us be a part of your team. Let the Radcliffe Small Business Alliance be a part of your team. Let the Legacy Foundation be a part of your team. That way uh, you don't have to like, um, Terry said, you don't have to sit back and, and think, oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do this. We're helping you tick off those boxes and telling you about things you may not have even thought or knew you needed. So this, so come on out. It's all about you. It's all about Hardin County success and Hardin County business, small business owner success. Absolutely. Now, we'll, we will embed some of that information about when, when the meetings are and also registration. If there's a registration link, we can put that in there as well to help get people informed about this. Although the next one's not out until July, this is a good time to get started talking about it. I'm sure news media will pick up on it like they did before. And we'll mm -hmm. also support it with some video footage. Sometimes that, that could even help. Thank you. Guys. So folks, that was Kay Cooper. She is with the Legacy Foundation. She's been doing a great job over there. She carried on the legacy started by Tanya Seabrook a few years ago. Tanya Seabrook unfortunately passed away a, a few years ago, but this is something that she worked on passionately for many years. She was well known for this. So Kay, thanks for coming on and for all your hard work. Thank you so much. And of course, our other guest today was the one and only Stan Mullins with <laughs> Modern Woodman who's doing an amazing job in the community. Everywhere you go, you're going to see Stan. Actually, it's a little side note here. I hadn't met Stan. This was about six or seven years ago, but I kept seeing Stan's picture in the paper and things that Stan said or things that Stan did. And I thought, I got to meet this guy, Stan. And finally, I met him one day and I discovered something that we have in common. We're about the same height. <laughs> <laughs> They're about the same height. When I saw the photos of Stan, I thought he was seven feet tall. <laughs> I thought he was seven feet tall. He was doing so much stuff so successfully. I said, this guy's got to be seven feet tall. And then when I met him, same height as me. It was an amazing day for me. Great revelation. <laughs> all right, folks. So I appreciate all your hard work and all, all, you, all the things you're doing to make this work. And we'll do what we can to support it. Jack, it was good seeing you. And we shall see you again in a couple of days. Good to see you, Terry. Thank you a lot. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.